Nice. Okay. So this is new. Let me go ahead and test. All right, awesome. It looks like everything's working. Um, let me know if my audio is garbage because I had to redo the uh, I had to redo the um, filters and whatnot. Uh, it should be fine because I did a test recording and watched that. Um, but yeah, let me get this out of my ear. There we go. All right, so. Um, like I said, we did a test uh, recording, just a, just a little one. Um, I downloaded and installed uh, the Streamlabs OBS instead of the standard OBS. So hopefully we're not uh, exploding right now. Um, let me hop onto my channel and make sure that we're live there. Yep, we're live there. Okay, awesome. Um, it actually looks like the, uh, delay isn't too bad. Hey, Shadow Belias, nice to see you here. Um, we're trying out, uh, Streamlabs OBS, like you suggested, uh, a few streams ago. I finally got, uh, <laughs> how's it going? I finally got, uh, uh, brave enough to redo all of my settings and everything, so hopefully, uh, hopefully this works out. Um, but yeah, uh... So, game is a tad loud. Okay. Go ahead and lower that guy. There's a negative 20. Uh, is that a little bit better of a balance between my voice and the game? I'm hoping so. Uh, like I said, I had, um, I had to transfer all of my, uh, all of my settings and filters and everything, and it didn't exactly do it perfectly. Yeah, the opening is really loud. Um, let's see, we'll hop into a menu here. There, that's a little bit more indicative of what uh, game volume is gonna be like. Let's see here. Howdy. All right, awesome. Um, so yeah, last time we did, uh, think, think, think. We did uh, the first part of chapter six. So we're kicking into um, the last dungeon of chapter six. And I think there's a boss battle to uh, finish it off. And then we're gonna go into uh, chapter seven. Uh, so for right now, uh, we just got done grabbing, um, where are they? There are four of these guys, and so far we have, oops. Skipped right over my preferred setting. There we go. Uh, so right now we have, um wherever they just went in my menu. We have three. We have the Water Gem, the Wind Gem, and the Earth Gem. Hi, Emma. And uh, so now we just have to go to get the Fire Gem from Mount Gundor. Um, so let's go ahead and go there. This should be the last bit of dungeons from, uh, from Chapter 6. And uh, like I said, we... Uh, we got brave and decided to do, uh, yeah, yeah, she's here. Uh, she's just not in her camera spot, so I don't have her camera on. Um, but she's being very needy today, just like she always is. Um, yes, just fire muffins. So, um, yeah, let's get into this. I'll talk while I, while I play. Um, like I said, uh, we have... Streamlabs OBS today instead of uh, standard OBS, so I'm a little uh, uh, What's the word not uneasy um, Just not super familiar with the layout. It's very very similar to OBS 
It's just uh, if something happens and I've got to troubleshoot it, it's going to take me a couple seconds longer than if it were an OBS to figure it out. Um, but yeah, uh, everything else seems to work just the same. Yeah, she's facing backwards. Um, hey, Sun Cyrus, good to see you here. Oh, I didn't know you guys knew each other. That's awesome. Wow. My community has already met each other. <laughs> um, yeah, very small world. Very small world indeed. Um, but yeah, so long story short, um, forgive me if uh, something that's uh, Streamlabs OBS uh, specific goes wrong and... Uh, I don't end up fixing it right away. <laughs> That's awesome. Very good. Ah, okay, okay. Well, I'm very glad that uh, mine was one of the ones you decided to ch uh, tune into, Sun Cyrus. So we just recently got this hammer last stream. Um, yeah, Dark Cloud 2 is an amazing game. <laughs> um, let's see. I actually do want to know what I need to work on for this guy. Pretty much everything. And then I need a, a few uh, enemies to defeat as well. So it, we're not going to be uh, building this guy up very soon. But uh, we should be able to drop some stuff into it and make it uh, make it a bit stronger. Yeah, this and Kingdom Hearts are my two favorite PS2 series. Final Fantasy XII was uh, was a good one. I just uh, I, I think I told uh, told Shadow Belias last time I had a little bit of trouble uh, with the Gambit system when it first came out. Um, I promised that I would give it a, uh, another try once I get the chance, though. I do still own it, so that shouldn't be a problem. I think 10 is my favorite from the series, just because it was the first one that I, uh, that I played. And then its battle system was a strict uh, turn-based system, where uh, if you use something like haste, you uh, actually have like, twice as many turns as uh, the enemy and it was very different from the ATB system and now the live action system that exists but uh, yeah <laughs> yeah 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 and uh, I played 10-2 when it came out and uh, as much as everyone hates on the game I actually enjoyed it because it played a lot like uh, the original 10 Mm-hmm, exactly. Um, the only thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way was uh, the attitudes of certain characters in the true ending. Um, but what can you do, you know? You, uh, you can't control how other people react, especially... Uh, not especially. Uh, you can't control how other people react, even when you've got, like, a... Uh, an idea of how they should act in your mind. They just don't act that way. And uh, the writers felt that uh, character in the ending should act a certain way, and that's how it is. Um, but I had uh, I had hopes it would be a little more romantic than that. A little more, uh, I don't know. Oh well, I'm getting off on a tangent now. Yeah, uh, story problems for sure. Um, but what uh, what convoluted story doesn't have uh, um, complications that people didn't think about until later? You know, um, that's what sequels are for, right? We sh we just need a ten three to clear everything up and fill in all the plot holes and tie all the loose ends, right? <laughs> And add 
time travel so that it all makes sense. Because <laughs> time travel is, uh, is the band-aid that cures all wounds, for sure. It's definitely not something that tears the series apart. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Bro, what are you doing running away? Yeah, I, I, I've heard from a few different people now that uh, I should really just uh, take the other level 5 games and uh, enjoy, um, like, uh, White Knight Chronicles and stuff like that. And it, it, I tried White Knight Chronicles. It was a good... Uh, it was a good game. It just wasn't Dark Cloud, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yes, but KH3 wasn't in this, like, limbo of who owns the rights, is the game coming, do they want to continue this idea? They had a lot of uh, spin-offs and stuff leading up to the story of Kingdom Hearts 3. It just took forever for them to actually deliver on the number three. Um, I'm personally of the camp that thinks that all of the quote-unquote spin-off games were, you know, perfectly acceptable titles in the series, and I don't feel like I waited 13 years for a sequel because I played through Birth by Sleep and I played through Dream Drop Distance and they felt like games to me, so... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I did hear about the Osmond reference when I was trying to look up uh, connections between um, Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2 and found, you know, the article on Osmond that said he had, like, a cameo appearance, but he wasn't a rabbit. He was, like, a regular person or something. It's like, okay, I'm not going to take that as the same character. He's just got the same name and a similar habit, if I remember correctly from the article, but... There we go. Let's see how terrible this right. uh, speed of stage is. Care you guys. <laughs> You're not facing the camera at all, Emma. I set this whole thing up for you. Yeah. Uh, no, not to the sphere yet. I want this ABP. Ooh, it is right up on that. Hopefully it's not just one shot and I have to, like, bounce it and make it into the uh, time rift in one shot. It's possible. I'm just not very good at it. It is one shot. Okay, so I'm going to have to give it some good old top spin and hit it just shy of what it needs to be. And hopefully it all works out in the end. 29 meters to goal, so that's a quarter of my... Thing. So about there. We'll just top spin the heck out of it. Yeah. I'm getting better at that slowly but surely. There was an Osman in Rogue Galaxy as well. Oh, it was an enemy. That's interesting. Um, Rogue Galaxy was the one that they put out directly following Dark Cloud 2, right? They used a few ideas that they were going to use in Dark Cloud 3 in Rogue Galaxy, if I remember correctly. I haven't played Rogue Galaxy either, so I could be mistaken. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. Was this the exit with the star door? Or is this, no, that's just the regular exit. That's the sun exit. Emma, don't bite my hand. I know you want attention. Yeah, I don't think she's gonna sit in her spot anymore. Hello? There we go. Oh, too far. But yeah, um... It seems like, uh... Unfortunately, Dark Cloud kind of went the way of uh, Paper Mario, where the people just decided that they were going to go uh, another direction with it. Um, 
I mean, Nintendo did keep using the Paper Mario name, but it's definitely not in the same vein as uh, the first two games. Like, once they did Super Paper Mario, they went a totally different direction with it. Sony actually owns uh, the entire IP. I thought they only owned part of it. And, uh, like, because it's shared between level 5 and Sony, it's complicated to try and get the third game going. I don't know. It's been literally years since I read up on the subject, so um, memory on that is uh, a good few years old. Half of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Alright, not too bad. Got the magic crystal. Let's see how strong Max's hammer is against these guys. Oh, it's actually really strong. Stronger than the ride pod. That's good stuff. Yeah, I mean, Sony is hoarding a lot of IPs that uh, would be better in other people's hands. Spider-Man, cough, Spider-Man. But, uh... <laughs> I mean, that's business, right? If you own the IP, you have the potential to make money off of it, and they don't want to lose on that potential. I didn't realize that that hurtbox could be a hitbox as well. Or, scratch that, reverse it. Didn't realize that his hitbox could be a hurtbox as well, and then I could injure him off of his uh, arm. Antidote drink again. Jeez, I get so many of these and use them so infrequently. Uh, kind of feel as though it's an issue with the games industry in general. I don't think there are many chances of Square doing anything with Legacy of Kane. Oh, that was such a good series, too. I, um, I actually watched, uh, uh Greg. Uh, he's the guy in charge of, uh, Flim Flam Philosophy, if it's still a YouTube channel. I watched him play through, um, the Legacy of Kane, doing a bunch of different voices, uh, different, uh, monkey characters. It was really cool. Uh, really funny. Um, and I loved that series so much that I actually uh, I bought it uh, and just didn't play it because I already heard the story from his videos and stuff. But it was a good series. I wanted to support it. Um, I'm not saying that I deflected his attack. I'm saying I injured him by hitting him in his attacking arm, and I didn't realize that was possible. I thought that I had to actually hit him on the body. Um, because, you know, that little rolling stone extended, and I hit that. Didn't realize that, uh, I was actually going to be able to do damage. Oh, he's actually got a really wide, um... Hurt box. I didn't realize that because I just hit him, uh, just hit him again from pretty far away. So maybe that's just what happened. It wasn't necessarily that I hit his extended rolling stone and just hit his super wide hurt box. Yeah, yeah, it is still cool to know. Now you're back. Yeah, I put a camera on you. I'm sorry. Not really sorry, but I'm sorry. There we go. These guys aren't too bad. They were a lot tougher when I first encountered them in uh, Rainbow Butterfly Wood. Yeah, treasure chest keys. Less lost treasure. I, uh, I actually missed out on a treasure chest last time because I didn't have a key and uh, decided, eh, I'll open it anyway, and it was an exploding trap, so the whole treasure chest went up with it. 
yeah, yeah, another story that likes time travel and eldritch gods and the whole nine vampires and all that good stuff. All that good stuff. There we go. But yeah, that, that was a complicated story to, uh... Oh, is that the Finny Frenzy going on? Let's see. I am poisoned. I'll use that. And then there is a healing bit back there. And like I said, yes, that is the Finny Frenzy. Let me make sure time speed is set to normal so it's not going to disappear on me super fast. Let's go ahead and use the healing spring instead of waiting or uh, wasting my uh, cheese. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we say vampires, but uh, it was interesting. And if I remember correctly, the uh, the death mechanic in there wasn't... Uh... Oh no, maybe that wasn't the death mechanic. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I thought for some reason that the death mechanic in that game was that you like just went into the spirit realm and you could fight your way out of it and it was in that same map that you were in and all that stuff but I may be misremembering it's been a while since I watched it it was okay yeah 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 and that was neat and you could like progress uh, getting new abilities and whatnot and you know it was your standard like platform hack and slash kind of a thing um good story like you said it was a bit complicated but yeah yeah L like i said i really enjoyed watching uh um greg over at flim flam philosophy play through it so much so that i bought it myself um with no intention of actually playing it myself <laughs> but yeah yeah exactly You just went online with a Sony account and bought the uh, PS4 versions? That's good stuff. That's funny. That's awesome. <laughs> I was real close to uh, doing that with uh, Kingdom Hearts if it were to come out on uh, um the next gen system before I got it back when I was thinking that it was uh, gonna come out on the PS3. I actually bought a PS3 uh, when they announced the PS4 because I was like, oh, of course, they're gonna put the next Kingdom Hearts game on the PS3 and then all they put was the HD remasters, which I bought and then uh, when it came out on PS4, I bought them again. <laughs> Alright, buddy. There we go. Get PS All now right. on my work PC as well, but I need the touchpad controls. Oh. Uh, no, don't move to the sphere just yet. Um, yeah, I actually got a um, a Bluetooth uh, adapter for my desktop so that I can connect an Xbox controller or a uh, PS4 controller to it. I haven't tried connecting the PS4 controller to it, because if I remember correctly, uh, I've got to use um, like the DS4 emulator or something like that to try and get this thing to act like an Xbox controller for it to even work on the computer. But uh, yeah, like I said, I haven't tried. Uh, I just, yeah, I haven't tried. last non-portable console you got was a 360 so you've got a switch i would imagine that's a pretty good system <laughs> uh let's see here we'll take it down that hallway what is that gonna be like uh almost a full hundred 
let's actually aim at the center of this. I think it's going to be about there to the end of this hall. Ooh, I'm getting good. Still on the 3DS, okay. I mean, the switches are hard to find right now, so uh, I definitely wouldn't rush and, like, purchase one for, like, 500 bucks. That is not the way to go. Okay, so I want to go out here, just past this thing. Okay. Yeah, definitely not the way to go to spend, like, $500 uh, to some scalper. Breath of the Wild was a really good game. I got it at launch, and uh, um, I think I spent like 250 hours in it, including the DLC. Yeah, exactly, because uh, everyone started buying them, and then uh, the resellers created bots to purchase them before anyone else could. It was a real mess. close. I have three hits remaining, so I'm just going to use a little uh, quarter hit to knock it uh, about there. Boom. There we go. And it's blue again for some reason. Alright, uh, so 58 to the goal. I want to land it about half and give it some good top spin. Right about there. And there. Hopefully that works. Yeah. Uh, Switch is worth it for that gem. Oh, yeah, Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, I, a lot of people are talking about that right now. And uh, I would eventually like to play it, but that's probably something that I'm going to pick up on sale because um, right now I've got too many games on my backlog, brand new games that I want to buy for it to be worth it. That's good, that's good. Um, did you play the original? Uh, are you uh, coming at it with nostalgia or is this uh, your first time playing uh, Xenoblade Chronicles? You did play it on the Wii, okay. Yeah, a lot of people that picked it up um, told me that they played the original one. Um, and that's kind of what I'm worried about, is that it's going to be something like Pokemon, where if you didn't, if you don't have the nostalgia for it, it's just kind of, you know, a good game instead of a 10 out of 10 game. Um, but yeah, that's just a background worry, because a, a lot of people have said it's really good, so... Oh, okay, good. All right, let's go ahead and back out. We'll see how... Um, uh, it's not Percy anymore. It's... What's the name of that fish? We're going to see how our fish does in the Finny Frenzy. Um, we haven't done any uh, breeding duplication or anything, so... Um, I'm not going to, but uh, I do want to see how this fish does. So just a small break from the dungeons since the Finny Frenzy is going on. Let's take a look at this guy here. I think it was Nancy or something, because it's... Uh... Yeah, Nancy. Uh, we've got 36 stamina, 45 boost, 41 endurance, so we'll see how she does. And if she doesn't do well, we'll mix her with one of those other guys in the tank and see how she does then. Metal Gear Rising, Prince of Persia games, Blasphemous, Dynasty Warriors 8. That's, yeah, that's a, uh, that's a list right there. Um, my list so far is the last couple of Assassin's Creed games that came out because I'm 
in the middle of Syndicate and just lost interest, I think, pretty close to the end, unfortunately. Um, and then um, the two new ones that came out uh, that I'm looking forward to are the Final Fantasy VII Remake and the uh, Persona 5 Royal uh, reboot, I guess, because they changed a lot. Oh, yeah, Persona. <laughs> yeah, uh, like I said, Persona Persona 5 Royal is uh, one that I really want to play through because I liked Persona 5, and uh, unfortunately I got some stuff spoiled uh, while I was watching a stream. Um, Nancy. Junior. Uh, with all your might. It wasn't your fault. I told you that you, it was fine. I I didn't know how much they actually changed for Persona 5 Royal um, and didn't realize that it was uh, several large, large changes. I was just like, oh, they added another support character, uh, like, uh, you know, someone you can go to for training or whatever. I didn't realize that it was... Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so those emotes that Shadow Belias has been using are from uh, Biscuit's Discord. Or, uh, Twitch. Um, Biscuit is the uh, Kingdom Hearts speedrunner that uh, someone gifted me a sub to, like, last year or two years ago. Um, unfortunately, I didn't have... Uh, <laughs> I didn't have the money to keep it going, but... Oh, nice. <laughs> That's a funny little guy. What is he supposed to be? Let's see. Biz Jam. Okay. Oh, it's Shulk. Ah! How close was that? I totally missed that. That sucks. Oh, well. Hands moment from The Simpsons. That's something else I wanted to uh, watch because uh, my parents, believe it or not, would not let me... Um, would not let me watch The Simpsons growing up. So I would, uh, you know, I'd sneak an episode every now and then on the TV, but uh, let's see, this is female, go to the breeding tank. What, too young? I thought I'd been feeding you for like forever. Jeez. If I knew that I should have been feeding this fish, well, I guess that's the end of that run. Uh, but anyway, uh, Simpsons is on Disney+, Plus, but all of the early episodes are cut off in, like, a weird way. They didn't do the formatting properly for the 4x3. They just kind of cut the top and bottom off to make it 16.9, and I haven't started it yet. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it just came out in the game's soundtrack is Beauty Incarnate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember seeing a, a picture of, like, uh, one of the bats in the brewery um, that, uh, like, you've got, like, Duff Light, Standard Duff, and then, like, Duff Extra or something like that, and they're all getting fed from the same pipe overhead, but you miss out on the joke when they cut it off to make it 16-9, so it just looks like they're standing in front of a bunch of bats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have to make uh, Nancy a bit stronger f before the next Finny Frenzy. It's all right. Um, I just didn't realize that we uh, hadn't fed her enough to breed her because I would have just bred her right then and then uh, stuffed the new fish into the race. But oh well, we'll uh, we'll work on that later. We gotta go back to Heimrata, back to Mount Gundor. But yeah, a lot of the stuff in The Simpsons, uh, I've seen a lot of uh, YouTube videos super cutting, uh, like the smart jokes or uh, the little mysteries and stuff that were in the uh, in the series, and uh, it seems really charming. It seems really cool. So um, I, it is a series that I want to get into. There's just a lot, and I would like to start from the beginning just so that I kind of have an idea of the characters and stuff before they get into 
major story things uh, later on in the series. From what I was reading online, they were supposed to fix that uh, with a Disney Plus update in like February. And when February came and went and it wasn't fixed, I, I haven't really tried to look up much more on it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, because as much as it isn't like a continuous story per se, the character arcs and stuff would be a continuous arc. Um, if the characters have arcs, I know that uh, a big charm of The Simpsons is that they're stereotypes and stuff, so I don't know how much the characters progress or if their uh, relationships with each other change. Yeah, I did hear about that. There's rumors that uh, Kingdom Hearts is getting a series. There are a little more than rumors. Somebody confirmed it. It's just not announced. Um, there's supposed to be uh, that coming uh, as far as a CG cartoon for Disney+. Plus. And then, kind of unrelated, there's also a um, The World Ends With You uh, anime series coming that's being developed in Tokyo. Um, so having two of those happening at the same time is really exciting. Especially after the way Kingdom Hearts 3 ended. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, as far as the Kingdom Hearts thing, it's really exciting if, uh, like they said in the interview I read, Nomura is going to be, um, consulting on story. If Nomura wasn't consulting on story, I wouldn't have high hopes for it. Um, because then they'd just be derivative of the games. If that, they might even be worse. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, Shadow Belias also, I mean, I would assume that he watches if he's got the emotes from, uh, Biscuit's channel, but, uh, Biscuit047 does a lot of Kingdom Hearts speedruns, and he's my preferred Kingdom Hearts speedrunner if I'm going to watch somebody do it. Um, he's got a pretty level head about the games and doesn't really hate on them preemptively, stuff like that. The good positive mental attitude. <laughs> I have yet to watch somebody speedrun Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um... All right, I know what my wife's gonna say. She's Which gonna say pink and red, but uh, uh, anyone else have uh, thought pink and red or uh, yellow and green? Yellow because reasons. All right, so we've got a tie. Shadow Belias. Red. All right. Good. Ooh. Here you are. I should have listened to Sun Cyrus. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> all right. Praise Griffin. <laughs> yeah, it happens. It's all right. Honestly, I think a third of the time I get the bad one. Or uh, two thirds of the time, I mean. Ooh, do not want, do not want. Let's not die here, please. Wait till they get a load of it. Oh, come on, hit him. There we go. <laughs> Piece of cake. Going from stream to stream, spreading Griffin's word. <laughs> I think the voice box is funny. I like Steve. Does Steve annoy you, uh, Shadow Belias? <laughs> 
It is. It is, and the fact that Steve was able to speak in uh, the original Dark Cloud as well. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think her name was Xiao. Um, the cat turned girl you save in the first game. I always named her Sheila for some reason. I don't know. Um, but uh, she was one of my favorites to use up until you get Ruby, because then she's got the armbands like Monica has. And then uh, after that, Osmond, of course, uh, with the uh, pew pews. Um, I really like ranged weapons in games. Um, hey, buddy. Uh, you're getting pretty close there. Mm-hmm. Uh, not using ranged in Dark Cloud 1 was... Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. Uh, I think when I first started this, uh, this game for Twitch, I was commenting that, uh, the bats in the first, uh in the first dungeon in Dark Cloud were just horrible because there's like a, you know, 30% chance or something crazy that they poison you and you're just going through poison uh, antidotes like crazy. And Gaga with your melee character of choice. It's a pretty, pretty solid pick. Uh, he does have the thing where he gets to uh, spin the staff as well. The Axe Boy, uh, the Hammer Kid uh, from uh, Marataki Village. I didn't, I didn't use him that much. Um, okay, I mean, I'm sure that if he got axes later on, they were probably a lot more powerful. But uh, gosh, yeah, I, I remember. I won or found a frozen tuna, and he had that for a while, but I hardly ever used him. That's a pretty chill stone. Tone is very good. His range just wasn't enough. Yeah. Um... Like I said, I always went range, uh, and I pretty much went with my newest ranged character, or switched between most of them, and then I would try my best to keep Tone alive, just so that I could pick up uh, Atla with him, because um, he wasn't wasn't very fast at all. Like Monica is way faster in comparison. <laughs> All right, that takes care of you guys. Emma, you've laid in a place where they can only see your back. Oh, this is another close one. This one I might actually be able to get in one hit. Yeah, you gotta come down here and sit. Oh, you're just going to move totally away from the camera now, huh? Alright, so 63, that's half. Uh, let's smack it half. That wasn't accurate enough to work. <laughs> oh, that's not going to be able to bounce off of anything well. Um, let's see... Because if I come at it from this way, it's going to do this weird, like, around the rift kind of a thing. Oh, gosh. This is terrible. Let's try to bounce it off this rock here. We're going to want to hit it about like so. Oh, terribly inaccurate again. Yeah, it did that around the rift thing. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, Tsuki Cage and Katana style upgrades. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Emma's Emma's pretty awesome. Uh, you love cats so much. Uh, Muramasa's speed. Yeah, I um, I tried that uh, something rare here, Svita challenge, I think twice. Maybe it was just once, and then I uh, I gave up. <laughs> I said I'd come back later when we're not trying to make progress through the story. Uh, got a cat sleeping on a box of wires. That's cute. Uh... He has a much more comfortable box, and he chooses to sleep on the wires. That's cats. That is just cats, I'll tell you that much. Uh, our other cat. Yeah, our other cat thought she was a dog before we got the dog, and then she realized that she was very wrong. I don't remember what I used uh, for Monica for my first playthrough on uh, on PS2. Um, I think I just kind of built stuff up and didn't know what was better aside of stats. <laughs> so um, it's likely I just got to the end of a tree and if it was my strongest one, I stuck with it. Yeah. You're in the way of chat, Emma. I can't see. Yeah, um, I remember using um, the wrench uh, more in my uh, in my first playthrough because I couldn't deal with the hammer being as slow as it was. So if something turned into a hammer, it was much worse in uh, in my opinion then. Uh, so I, I tried my best to keep it as a wrench. Ah. Uh, Griffin Fork being a much better looking sword. I think the sword based on those wielded by the villain on the box would be better than a surfboard with a pinwheel glued to it. <laughs> I mean, you'd think so, right? I remember using grade zero, I'm pretty sure. Because that sounds familiar. Pinwheel is 20% cool. Or plus 20 cool. Also, if you hear my tiny human crying. Oh, is she crying? I'm sorry. Nope, not that key. Other key. Where's the other key? Is it down near the bottom? Yep, there it is. Uh, grade Zero is a less country name than Legend All Caps. <laughs> Ooh, Wildcat. That's the machine gun, right? Cursed machine gun brings out the beast in its user. Yeah, it's still not as good as this gun, though. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, it... You kind of got a similar thing going on in, like, all of Final Fantasy, where the best weapon in the game for the, um, <laughs> for the main character is always called Ultima, either all caps or, uh, you know, similar. No, I didn't want to lift him. I wanted to attack him. Ha, <laughs> Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> I mean, someone has to help YouTubers make money, right? And if it's Raid Shadow Legends, more power to them. Again? Come on, buddy, just die. There we go. 
Oh, mech on mech action, you say? Come here, Arthur. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have seen so many super sarcastic Raid Shadow Legends ads. It's it's great. I love it. I still haven't downloaded the game, but <laughs> it's uh, it, it seems like if you're into that kind of a game, it's uh, you know one of the top ones out there. At least the advertising dollars are there, so they've got to be making money, which means people are playing it. Yeah, Internet Historians ads, uh, there are a couple of, uh, really sarcastic, uh, uh, what's the right way to put it, podcast people, like people who, uh, normally do, uh, news, uh, like, uh, drama news and stuff like that, they'll, they'll go all out and just, like, uh, oh, what's the right word? make fun of the game, but also tell you to download it. It's interesting. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, I played, like, the Kingdom Hearts mobile game, and then uh, my friend, uh, one of my friends from work wanted me to get into, uh, what was it, Overhit. Uh, and the game is already dead. Like, I loaded it up the other day to see what was going on in it, and it's like, yeah, sorry, uh, you can't buy anything anymore because we're shutting down the servers in June. Thanks for playing. And I'm just like, well, you know, that's kind of what happens when your cheapest pack is $25 and you're trying to make people spend, like, $150 just to unlock your newest character much less uh or much more money to actually max it out like that's not that's not what people are trying to do watch vods of someone who did a segment called android trash oh hey that's two thousand bucks we just picked up two two gold bars that's good stuff that's the first time I've found gold bars in a chest. That's pretty awesome. Oh, I should actually uh, go through this room instead of uh, ignoring it. Ooh, open the menu. That should have killed me. I'm glad my menu opened instead. Yeah, uh, I mean, I haven't played so much at Scary, but I, this is my third or fourth playthrough of the game, and I've never found gold bars. Diablo Immortal, is that the mobile? Yeah, 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 that's the, that's the mobile game, right? Or, no, 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 someone else came out with a mobile game. Who was that? Was that Halo? No, it wasn't Halo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was that one. Okay. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Do you guys have phones? I think I think that was in like everybody's uh cringe compilations back when cringe compilations were a thing. Mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that was Todd Howard on stage saying that, but you're right, it was Blizzard for that, uh... Um, uh, Diablo announcement. Um, when Blades was announced, that's another one that, like, I, I downloaded it and tried it because I was a real big fan of Skyrim, which was my first Elder Scrolls game, but, uh, Blades just didn't have the same charm, at least to me. Um, it was too much repetitive motion and not enough, uh, interactive environment, story, stuff like that. 
and you were forced into using a sword, and I normally go sneaky archer, so. I don't have another key, so I'm going to heal up and hope it doesn't explode in my face. It was a weapon destroying trap, I'm fine with that. Another Pocklicool, okay. You are a plus four. Once you're plus five, do I put you into the, your friend? No, 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 because I put, I put the other one into this one, and I don't want to lose out on all of that. I'll upgrade this one to level five and drop it into the other one. Yeah, 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 that makes more sense. Concern mods for Skyrim will be better ES6 than ES6. Yeah, unfortunately. It really sucks that they shot down, um, what was it, Skyrim together in lieu of trying to make uh, Elder Scrolls Online a thing. And it's like, Skyrim together was way better than Elder Scrolls Online. Oh, gosh. And then they got pissed off because Fallout 76 did poorly. Man. Beyond Skyrim may be the future of Elder Scrolls. Bruma was masterful. I, I actually have seen um, the YouTuber ESO talk uh, very highly, uh, speak very highly of Bruma, um, at least in thumbnails and stuff. I didn't want to get too much into it because if I get the mod, I don't want to have stuff spoiled for me. Yeah, Nintendo kind of does the same thing, shutting down things that revolve around their IP that they think are going to be damaging. What they don't realize is people will buy Skyrim so that they can play Skyrim together. And it'll actually get them more sales. <laughs> oh, jeez. Missiles. Missiles. Don't want the missiles in my face. Thank you. Saw a review of Fallout 76 Wastelanders. The guy said Fallout 76 is now good enough to be a bad Fallout game. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, they didn't shut it down per se, but they put a lot of pressure on the mod creator to not continue making it. Uh, but that was like a year and a half ago. Um, things might have gotten better since then. Uh, the dude heading Skyrim together was a pretty toxic person. Oh, I didn't actually see anything from that guy person in charge of uh, Skyrim Together. I just saw stuff from like ESO talking about it and from my friends saying how cool it was going to be and all of that. Room of Feels professionally made. That's good. That's good. I'll, I'll probably try that out soon then. Uh, he also mentioned that by adding NPCs into 76 they finally added Fallout into a Fallout game. I mean, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of what makes All these right. games, because one of the big draws of Bethesda games in general, at least what they've become, is that um, there aren't cutscenes. You experience the game and, and its story through the conversations you have with NPCs. And if you don't have NPCs to have conversations with, you don't have a story. And if you don't have a story, you don't really have an RPG, you have uh, an MMO. Uh, and that's not to say MMOs don't have story, because MMOs have really great story most of the time. Uh, so it's not really an MMO what you have, it's like a game demo, essentially. I mean, if you don't have story, I don't know. It's a little more complicated than what I'm making it out to be, but... Um, it doesn't feel complete without a story. Like, you have to have a driving force uh, to play a game. <laughs> yeah, when, when they say they don't owe the community anything on an online game where you need the players, otherwise your game is garbage, you've got something wrong with your head. Oh, that was uh, that was the guy in charge of the Skyrim Together mod. 
Oh, geez. Yeah, yeah. No, that that guy doesn't sound like he's got his head in the right place. I thought you were saying that uh, Griot was uh, like somebody who worked for uh, Bethesda talking about Fallout 76 or something. If that was the guy in charge of Skyrim Together, yeah. Oh, geez. He let the fame of Skyrim Together get to his head, I think. That sucks. Uh, let's try to make it through here. Uh, it's going to be a 50. Oh, we threaded that gap. Oh, that was good. That felt real good to hit that. Okay. Um, let's see. Where are we going? Definitely not that way. We need to go down this way. Into that corner. Hi, Emma. He was angry at comments people had made. Yeah, well... <sighs> yeah. Oh, man. Let's see. Secondly, we are not making this for the community. If anything, the community has been so toxic, we even considered saying, F it, give up, or continue not, never release anything to the public. We're making this for ourselves because we think it's a very fun project to work on and we learn a ton doing this. People leaving is the least of our concern as they will come back when it's released. We aren't trying to build a community. Jeez. I mean, part of it makes sense from like a content creator point of view. Like you need to be able to separate yourself from the toxic people in your community, yes. But at the same time, like if if you're trying to get funding and stuff for this thing and you know the community is what helped get you to this point like you can't diss that same community in uh in the same way you would um just random viewers of your content that aren't supporting you like what's the best way to like, if somebody has their work up in a museum and everyone's going to see Leonardo DiCaprio's work, not Leonardo DiCaprio, oh my gosh, Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> if someone's going to go see da Vinci's work and they see yours on the side and they're like, oh, this is garbage, what is this doing next to da Vinci? Screw them, they're not there to support you, you don't need to listen to them. But if these people are there, like, trying to help with this project you're running, like they're part of the community they're the reason you're doing this like yeah exactly uh we're not trying to make a community for a mod that is designed to facilitate multiplayer that's what i was saying thinking it was fallout 76 related uh, they weren't even updating the patreons jeez yeah yeah they uh oh gosh sometimes you see people uh, and their good situation turns bad. They let it get to their head, essentially. And it's unfortunate. I have five hits. I'm going to do a short one and then a short one over to the other wall. So probably about there. Because I don't want it to go all the way to that back wall and have to go over the healing spring. That'd just be annoying. So we want to get it to there. That's another about that much. There we go. Yeah, it sounds like a mess. Jeez. All right, so this is 64 to goal. I'm going to hit it about halfway, a little under half, and give it a good amount of top spin. Yeah. All right. We're doing a lot better this uh, this stream than we did last stream with Sfida. I think we failed all of the Sfida challenges last stream. <laughs> Man, I'm getting some good RNG with this placement and how many strikes, uh, how many strokes I get. It's good stuff. Thank you. And yeah, it is it is really fun. A wealth coin, okay. I have wealth on Monica's weapon, I think. 
not that one. This one. Um, so I should probably put it on one of Max's weapons. Probably the hammer. Oh, what is this? Um, I don't remember what that... Yeah, 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 it's safe to go into the help menu right now. Um, let's see, abnormal status, um, icon descriptions. Mm, not those ones. Poverty, money enemies drop decreases. Okay, so I actually need to drop this into this weapon to counteract that. And I think that just means it removes it. I don't think I get wealth on the weapon. Yeah, it just removes it. I do have a couple other coins that I can mess with later, but not gonna worry about that right this second. Vita, somehow able to be hated and liked at the same time, just like real life golf. <laughs> Even the people who love golf get a club wrapped around a tree. <laughs> at least that's how it's predicted or uh, depicted in like cartoons and stuff. Yeah, exactly. As long as you're relaxing and not like super stressed about whether or not you make a shot, it's fun. It's fun. Like basketball, if it wasn't so fast-paced, it'd be fun to just shoot around a basketball with your friends. Wish I could get durable coins in DC1 for Ungaga. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. The thing that really bugged me was when you would spin the staff and it would hit something with the wind even if you know you're not actually hitting that thing with the staff it would still sap your um weapon hp if uh the enemy had like something that doubles your uh weapon hp expenditure it, it was stupid what am i doing why did i open my menu instead of just hopping on i don't know i think i still had to s I, I think in my brain i was trying to switch off of my speed of club onto the hammer, but I already did that. But yeah, it never made sense that it would still eat through WHP when he wasn't actually hitting it. Mm-hmm. Um, I do remember... I mean, obviously, it was a lot worse in Dark Cloud 1 because your weapon would fully disappear, and if you had a really late game weapon and it just disappeared like oops inferno you merely adopted the lava i was born in it molded by it I wish the camera would follow better and not just turn into a uh, seasick, I can't see the enemy at all strafing session. But uh, here we are. Oh, jeez. Speaking of the camera not doing what I wanted, it turned me around. <laughs> all right, let's heal the ride pod up and hop back in. You know what? You're weak enough now. <laughs> uh, barely stronger than a regular enemy. Alright, Gaspard in memory of Gaspard. <gasps> yep. <laughs> I still gotta figure out how to uh, make uh, custom emotes for uh, this Twitch channel. I don't know if 
uh, I can make emotes that are free for everyone to use or if it has to be like a subscriber only thing because I kind of dislike the idea of having uh, a paywall between uh, all or sub emotes. Okay. Oh well. Um, but yeah, once I have uh, once I have the ability to make uh, uh, emotes or once I have the ability to accept subs, that's definitely going to be one of them. Uh, FFZ. I'm unfamiliar with what FFZ is. And BTTV? I actually don't know what BTTV is either, unfortunately. Franker Face Z? Okay. Is that something that allows you to just dump emotes into uh, Twitch chat and let people use them? Better Twitch TV? Okay. Let's see, what are we doing? We gotta take all these things to Stonehenge. I don't know if that was supposed to show up on stream, but it just says cat bag for me. <laughs> Yeah, that train is awesome. Okay, yeah, um, it didn't show up on uh, on the stream for me, probably because uh, I'm not using. Uh... Oh, it showed up on uh, on my uh, actual stream. Oh, it just didn't show up in. Uh... Uh, what's it called? Uh, Streamlabs OBS. Okay. That's a cute little cat bag. Yeah, yeah. It, I can't see it in the um, chat that popped up when I went live, but I could see it on my preview of the stream. So... It might not be active on mine, because I literally just downloaded this yesterday and started from the ground up so I might have to download the extension or something like that or enable it in the options <laughs> uh, let's see I need to start dropping these into their altars this one was what the blue one yep water water everywhere uh, let's sort Not all the way down there, sorry. There's water. This one's the green one. Hi, Emma. Now is this one, that one's red, so this one's orange. Oops, wrong button. Uh, I'm actually curious, does this count as another picture? Nope, still just water altar. Okay. Uh, let me look up and make sure I'm not missing any missable pictures real quick. I do still have that open. Uh, chapter 6. The only thing missable was the dead tree. Chapter 7. I already got that one. That's interesting. Okay, so yeah. there. I don't have to get any more pictures here. They're not missable. There we go. Cutscene time! A bunch of Osmond's reactions would be great, to be honest. There's Pasnos. Look, it's Pasnos. All right, it worked. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Futaba emotes. They've done it. So that was your... Of course. Ah, uh, okay. He has blood from two different times running in his veins. It's given him special qualities. A boy descended from two eras. Could he be in two places at once? He may just be able to save us. He could be the one. That's Neo. Not not Maximilian, that's Neo. Now, let us strike back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, no, I don't have, I don't have a talented oh, son. He just has blood is. from two times. Are you trying to stand up to my power with such a puny little fortress? Have it your way. Let the battle begin. <laughs> is that actually Mark Hamill? I can hear it now. I did not realize it before, just like uh, before I knew that he voiced the Joker uh, in the Batman cartoon, I had no idea it was him. Wow, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, and that's good stuff. Osmond is Raziel. Oh, interesting. Prepare to fire the Nova Driver. The Nova Driver. Sir, Nova Driver ready to Is that fire. anything like my Nova Cannon? Oh, I didn't know Dr. Dell was voiced by the same person as well. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. Oh, man. I just got sad about uh, Nimoy. That's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. If only he was able to complete the project with Kingdom Hearts 3. That, oh man. That was good stuff. I really liked his voice acting. What's that? What are they gonna do? Not to, like um, not weapon. to downplay, the uh, oh, I forgot Nova what his name is. An was it Antonio something? I don't yes, even know. I've never seen it fired before either. But yeah, I uh, I don't do want to downplay the voice actor from Kingdom Hearts 3 because sure I got used so. to it. We'll have to wait and see. I just know for Birth by Sleep, it was spot on. Ready to fire, sir. Nova Driver, ready. And fire! You missed! Rector Howard. Christopher Lloyd. Okay. They did it! Uh -oh. Yeah, this probably. Is very bad. Huh? Look! Dark the cloud. The is falling towards Palm Brinks. Palm Brinks. Oh no, that's the only town that's no a town. Way. We didn't move everyone out yet. Okay. Oh, interesting. What I didn't know do, Howard sir? passed away too. There is a Jeez, that the sucks. Crash point of the palace. Blast it all! How do we stop it? Jeez. Uh, Rufio, Rufio, Rufio. What? Colossus mode? What are you talking about? It's a new system on Cosmos. You must be joking. I did not. Um, I grabbed the two furbits, but not the moon guy. Uh, the, the moon per... 
I did not grab Rufio, unfortunately. He's still sitting there by Dr. Dell's office. Posnos doesn't have anything like that. It does now. Max put it in himself. Yes, it does. You just don't know about it. What? What? But ever since Posnos was in its planning stages, I... History has changed. Since Max and Monica went back in time, things have changed slightly. They've created a whole new time stream. Right? Exactly. A new time stream. So that explains it. The true history, as Max would put it. Put Posnos in Colossus mode. Entering Colossus mode. <laughs> She's about on the same level as uh, uh, Holdo from uh, um, the second of the Star Wars trilogy. Just keep everything in the pocket until the last minute and then let your crew know what's going on last minute. Last minute. Cool. What is it? I have no idea. It looks like, like, like Pasnos has transformed me. I mean, most probably, because look at all the color in his shoulders. I didn't see that color in Pasnos before. Pasnos turned into a robot. Oh, really? Huh? How did it do huh. that? That's cool. I like seeing when voice actors uh, hop between games that I like. We'll stop the palace with Pasnos. <laughs> right. <Dive. laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, the Sun Giant will definitely be able to take him out this time. Totally a different dark energy, you know. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Yeah, Superman that island. Right. <laughs> How cool! It just threw the palace aside. The palace is on the ground. Let's try and get inside. Come on, Max, it's time to kill okay. God. As in every, uh, anime. Oh, jeez. The original Dark Cloud followed that model, too. Uh, there's, uh... There's, uh... What's the right word? There's, uh... Trope, or an idiom, or wh whatever. There's, uh, an anime trope where you start off the adventure saving a cat, and in the end, you kill God himself. <laughs> it's like, all right... All right, I mean, Dark Cloud essentially did that, I'm realizing. I mean, I know that uh, the Dark Genie wasn't, uh, wasn't God, but. <laughs> um, I thought we were going there. A uh, pick of Gigantor Pasnos. Can I see that from here? Dark Genie's basically the devil. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, yeah, he's right there behind my train. Why didn't it tell me that in the guide? It said that was a chapter 7, and we haven't started chapter 7 yet. Griffin's real face was also a chapter six thing, and it said that it was chapter seven missable. Uh, 
Okay, so it doesn't list Gigantor Pasmos as a missable photo. I hate this guide. I hate it. Is the uh, is the Gigantor Pasmos always there? Like, is it there now? It goes away after the main game, so it is missable. I don't know why it's not listed here. All right, I'm going to have to use another guide than uh, Alzmar's guides, unfortunately. Um, we'll, we'll have to look up something else later, probably. Hopefully I didn't miss... Uh, hopefully I didn't miss anything else. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll delete those. Okay, I think to get there I do something over here. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I talk to Osmond. Yeah, no, I don't do anything up here. I've got to talk to Osmond. I'm sure of it. Don't think you can go back to Stonehenge after the main game. Thought you could, but don't remember. Maybe you can. I'm just misremembering. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Osmond, are you going to take me there? Chrono unions are actually possible. I can't believe it, says the guy who created a train that goes 10,000 years in the past. Oh, okay. I have a good stream, Shadow Belias. Thanks for coming out, dude. An object under a chrono union may exist in two separate spaces and times at once. Pasnos is here, but also in the future... So are there two copies of my mom? She was on Pasnos. Does that mean she gets to stay? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. No, 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 no. See, just the Pasnos is in two places at once. All the characters on the Pasnos are only in one time, and they have to go back once they're done. Monica, listen carefully. Griffin's palace is back on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just explained it funny. This is our last chance to take him out. Right, right. It's up to you to repair the history which Griffin has perverted. This is the final chapter. It's the final countdown. Okay, get going. Go and make a brighter future for all of us. It can't be bright without you, Mom! Yes, Mother. Oh, look, Griffin's Max has us. grown. Max has grown. I mean, they handled it weird, but he grew up. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you start growing your brain instead of your, uh, instead of your gut, right? Was he just uh, unmotivated and uh, not pushed hard enough by the moon people? Mm -hmm. Or maybe it was the adventure he went on uh, with Tone that uh, made him think he needs to uh, be in a little bit better shape just in case it happens again. I'll wait here. Make sure you get him. Oh, we'll get him. We will. All right, let's see here. Yep, the dead trees are already gone because this was ripped out of space and time. <laughs> Have a third character that has the same kind of weapon as Max. No melee weapon. <laughs> uh, let's see, that's not a thing, right? Oh, that is Gold Gate. Okay. Oh, he dual wields guns. Okay, so he would just have two guns instead of one. <laughs> <clears throat> Just like Dark Cloud. <laughs> Chapter 7 Palace of Flowers. Oh, he uses just the one? Oh. I was mistaken then. Minerva. Huh? 
Welcome to the Moonflower Palace. What? You have come to fight with Cyrus inside the Moonflower Palace, have you not? Cyrus? Hail Griffin. Do you mean Griffin? <laughs> Please, don't blame Cyrus. I really hope you are able to see the child's true form. His real face. Who are you? Mommy dearest. I am the ruler of the palace, Alexandra. Oh, sorry, wrong Greek female. Cyrus has not yet realized what his role in life is. And neither have you two. It's to destroy the world. Cyrus no, and I the share moon. Many memories in this garden. They are all still hidden here. Oh. And you have to rebuild it exactly like that. This is the only one where if you have to rebuild it exactly to like it that. To be, the child may remember everything again. There you go. Random stuff in chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please, open up your hearts and see for yourselves the truth hidden here in the castle. There is a clue in the first room. Please, go and win back Cyrus's memories. If you do, I'm sure Cyrus will. I beg of you. There we go. Oh, you can't quite see her. I wonder what she meant. A clue in the first room. Anyway, let's keep going. <laughs> Just anyway, let's keep going <laughs> instead of answering the question or talking about it or anything. Um, there is nothing to take a picture of here. Okay, unless the window is a picture. My true role in life isn't to rant about DC3 or moon people. What is it? You know, we'll probably find out in a little bit. And I say a little bit, but I mean like, you know, 30 floors of a dungeon or something. I forget how many is in uh, in He's chapter 7. Up this time. I wonder. That skipped the end of his voice dialogue. Hmm. Of his uh, voice line. Aha! I got it! I got it! There you go. The pictures are the clues. What? That's how we're supposed to build it. What is it? Yeah, pretty nice place to live. That's for sure. The woman just now, uh, um, a Alexandra. Yeah. What about her? She said there was a clue in the first room, right? Well, the first room is this hall. Look, Monica. This looks like the palace garden, but there's no flower bed like that out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The pictures in this hall must show how the palace was long ago. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So Monica's a bit slow on the uptake on a lot of things to, to show how smart Max to what is. It used to be like, like in these pictures. And unfortunately, they kind of do the same thing with Sora in Kingdom Hearts, where he's a bit slow so that the story can be explained to the player if they don't get it right away. I'm sure that's the way to uncover the secret about Griffin in this palace. I bet you're right. It couldn't hurt to try. <laughs> it would waste a lot of time to try, but it wouldn't hurt anything. Uncovering Griffin's secrets, huh? Sounds good. Let's do it. All right. All right. Right. <laughs> Alexandra just pops out. She's like, thank you. It would have taken forever to get my garden back to the way it was. Now you're free to go and fight Griffin. No, it does nothing for you. Thank you for your help. <laughs> Gosh. All 
All right, let's see what else is here. We got the golden door. We already got Griffin's real face. We need the labyrinth door and the legend of the moon. And that's at the top of the dream spiral. Okay. So labyrinth door should be this thing behind me. Nope, maybe it's the exit. Hey there, buddy. Ooh, things are strong here. And fast. Might be the door in the foyer. Okay. Jeez! I didn't even have enough time to attack. My goodness. I'm gonna have a bad time here. Oh, that's right. I can uh, grab the castle leader as uh, my monster transformation. Uh, what do I want to do for this? This one. If I remember correctly, this guy actually wants three fork lures. You gotta be quick, Monica. You gotta. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I must have been poisoned and I didn't realize it because he for sure didn't hit me during that sequence. Wow, did that take 50 health off of me as poison? Jeez. What is that, the second, maybe third time we've died this playthrough? Gosh. <laughs> yeah, praise Griffin. Man. That was rough. We've really got to look into uh, what we're doing here with these weapons, huh? Oh, I've got 57 synthesis points. What am I doing? Oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's do some stuff, huh? Let's see here. Uh, what do we need? Smash, Beast, Cyclone, Exorcism, and Scale. Exorcism... Can you buy uh, crystals from anyone at this point in the game or just in chapter eight? Let's see, uh, dark cloud, nope, 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 not on this page. I wanna keep this page open. New tab. Uh, Starlight Temple you can, okay. I think I might have to take a trip to Starlight Temple with my 26,000 Gilda. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we're good on exorcism now. Let's do smash. Probably end up being the richest character in the game. There's a moon person. Ah! Yes, I will make this moon person the richest person in the game. For sure. Uh, beast. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Dark Cloud 3 will have his own mansion and sit on a pile of Gilda. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ooh, I need more beast. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna have to go and pay this person a visit. Do you, are you okay with 50 Cyclone or do you want more than that? So we're at plus 10 right now. That's pretty late to be uh... do another five. I heard her full tilt scream for no reason. Well, I mean, I guess if it was for no reason, she's okay, right? <laughs> My goodness. More cyclone.
Still needs more cyclone. Okay. What else do we need? Uh, scale. Is this scale? Yeah, that's my only scale. Uh, okay. Alright. Um, so yeah, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to go and pay that moon person a visit. Attack, lightning, and exorcism. Probably tired. Yeah, she's been getting too tired and then not wanting to, uh do anything about it. Like, she doesn't actually want to fall asleep. Uh, we want the middle one, if I remember correctly. Yeah, so we need to... Uh, uh, you said it was Starlight Temple? Yeah. Oh, I missed some stuff. Imagine if they rebuilt his garden and didn't do anything to him. Griffin, look what we've done. You, you planted grass? <laughs> yeah, that would have been great. <laughs> Man. She just wanted to stare at the dog, huh? All right, yeah, let's move to Starlight Temple in Balance Valley. Alright, so this should be the accessory shop, I think. If I had to guess, it's gonna be that one on the right. Because the one on the left looks more like a weapon shop. Uh, yep, I can go in here. Very good. Alright. Um, no, this is Lao Chow's Bistro. Monica tricked me into bringing her favorite restaurant back. This is a good one. I don't know if I have a, uh, a favorite. So let's see. I think that's weapons. So this is probably the one I'm looking for. Unless this one has a sword over the door and then this one's weapons and the other one's the one I really want. If you'd have asked younger me, I would have uh, answered immediately that it was uh, the ocean one. Yep, here we are. Okay. Um, ooh, the attack ones are going to be golden opportunities. Okay. Let's take eight, so we have... Oh, I thought that pulled me up to ten. Okay, so sea dragon crystal, I'm going to need a good amount... Uh, this, this one I'm gonna need a good amount. Oh, I'm gonna get need a good amount. I'm gonna need a good amount of a lot of these. Let's see. Uh, makes me wonder if this is some sort of religious importance to the moon people. I mean, it is a temple, and the fact that it's the star temple with the... Was it the moon crystal? I don't remember if it was the moon crystal or star crystal. Um, but if it's the moon, that makes perfect sense. May as well change Monica's outfit. Here you go, Monica. You get a leotard now. Ta-da! Those boots do not go with that leotard, Monica. What are you doing? We're gonna have to get the boots before we put her in that leotard. Yeah, she's got to have the right shoes for that. Otherwise, it's just going to look ridiculous. All right, let's see. Um, where were we? We need a cyclone, beast, and scale. So let's hop the scale up another four. <laughs> mm 
No, still needs more scale than that. Interesting. She's asleep now. Oh, yeah. If she fell asleep that quick, she was for sure just fighting it. Not 130. Okay, we'll do another four. All right, thank you, Sun Cyrus. All right, Emma, you're in the way of the you're in the way of the preview screen. There you go. All right, that was enough for scale. Okay, cool. Uh, so now let's do Cyclone next, since I'm sure we're closest to that one. If that was 140 and Exorcism was at like 135, that's probably where we want to be for this as well. So we're gonna have to spectrumize all seven and come back to Cyclone later. Yep, and that'll be that. Yeah, it still needs more Cyclone. So we need uh, Evil Nail, Guardia, and Lancer, which I think are all here in Chapter 7. Um, this guy has no more Synthesis points, so we're going to have to level him up a couple of times to be able to build him up. Um, this guy needs more Exorcism. Let's go ahead and drop three see if pulling it up to 78 is enough 68 no we'll use the other three then back out of that okay that was enough exorcism okay cool so now we just need uh, flame and we should be able to see if this is the uh, um, the right one I'm pretty sure it is and then this guy we want beast but we have no more synthesis points so we're gonna need to level that up as well and then Steve can we build an upgraded Nova cannon yet? Let's see, Dark Cloud 2 inventions. Uh, we want Nova cannon upgrades. Barrel cannon, barrel cannon, bucket leg, bucket pack, buggy. Cannonball arm, uh, drill arm, hammer arm, iron leg, jet hover. Uh, we're going to need the relaxation found, uh, fountain for that. Um, laser arm three is available once I get the relaxation fountain. Laser Arm 4 from Relaxation Fountain as well. Oh, no, 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 no. That one's Legend of the Moon. That one's way late. Um, let's see. Nova Cannon. Nova Cannon 2. Nova Cannon 3. So I need a Moon Column, a Stove, and the Sun. So Moon Column is a Giorama piece I'll need to make, place, and photograph in the Moonflower Palace. Okay. So Moon Column should be available uh, pretty early on. I'm going to wait until uh, I can make that better uh, arm before I do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy up some more of these, make sure I have at least 20 of everything. I don't need 20 cheese. Well, 
Let's just max out on cheese, because I know I'm going to need it. Um, these are only 300 gilda a piece. There we go. And then I've got some more uh, gold bars and stuff. If I need to buy stuff later, that'll be fine. Yes, a very, very hungry sword. Alright, uh, move. Commands can't reach the Ixion from here. What are you talking about? What? <laughs> I'm supposed to be able to move from wherever I want in fast travel fashion, and I can't from here. Oh, gosh. Yeah, moon crystal. So, yeah, it makes sense that uh, the moon people would be here with the moon crystal. Yes, yes. Very good, very good. Um, I need to get down from here. Did I just come to the very opposite way of where I wanted to go to get down? Is there only one path that leads up here? Probably. Can I just jump down from here? Nope. I have to go from right here. Alright. Can I jump down yet? Almost. Nope. Okay. Can my commands reach the Ixion from here? Nope. How about from here? This is where the Ixion dropped me off. Nope. Okay. Fun stuff. Well, if I can't get to the future... Later. Hmm. Buying weapon, crystals, dark cloud, two. Okay, so I actually need to go and talk to Rufio. Yeah, let's go, uh, let's go recruit a Rufio. <clears throat> uh, wrong way. Rufio's up this way. Rufio, we're coming. He's right out here next to uh, Dr. Dell's office. Or at least he normally is standing right here. Why is he not standing right here? Welcome back, Cyrus. Rufio is not in his normal spot. I must go and find him. Or at least I'm pretty sure that's where Rufio normally is. That's why I remember seeing him. Ah, there he is. Hey there, buddy. There will be a moon there. Okay. Uh, I've got to wait until the moon. <laughs> That's like 12 hours. All right, let's make time move fast. And we'll fish and we'll wait for the moon to come out, take a picture and show it to Rufio. Um, equip the lure rod and 
We'll use the spinner. Uh, today we've been live for an hour and 55 minutes. I'm hoping the stream is doing fine. I can kind of see it on my preview there, but I've got OBS Streamlabs up because uh, it's a little bit better. Awesome. Yeah, Streamlabs actually pulls up uh, the chat in its window. It's a lot better than standard OBS. I'm glad I switched, especially if it's not going to freeze the stream like what happened last time. Whoo, that's a big one already. Jeez, I need to upgrade this rod. <laughs> that is slow going. Imagine if we had Dell on the line instead of a fish. Max, I was out for a swim after s saving that girl. <laughs> you seem to have hooked my trunks. A Baku Baku. This thing's huge. My goodness. Uh, yeah, the uh, regular OBS might have been the problem. It might not just be optimized for streaming and recording at the same time. Uh, let's see. Wow, this guy was huge. All right, exchange fishing points. We need the line not to break, but I also need luck. Let's make sure the line doesn't break as easily. Fishing contest is the next thing that's coming up. I can use that. I'm going to leave him out for now. What time is it? 5.12. We made it almost halfway there. Mm, the side will work. Okay. Hop, doom, hop, doom, hop, doom, hop, doom. It's actually a lot easier than I remember it in um, my PS2 playthrough. Maybe I'm just not thinking about it as hard. Um, Cause I'm actually going a lot faster than I would have thought using one of these lures should be moving. That's a little too close. Let's hop over this way. We'll fish from the pier here. No, I can't fish from there because of the because uh, of the boat. I'll fish from the corner of it. Yeah, right over here. Okay, so left zap, left zap. I said left twice, but I went left right. Everyone knows what I meant. I think that's the moon coming out. That's what we were waiting for. Oh, that's much better. Either that or that's a much smaller fish. We'll find out here in a minute. Yeah, 
Yeah, my other left. Not to be confused with my left. Oh yeah, that was half the size. Jeez. Okay. Yeah, I need to uh, make sure I don't try and put that in the fishing contest. Um, moon. Picture. Picture of moon. Moon, moon. There it is. A picture of the moon. All right, Rufio. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember uh, reading that. See, Rufio, where are you? You are not here. And unfortunately, because of the render distance, I cannot see where you are. We'll go around this uh, monument and then around the lake and see if we can find you. Yeah, I, I assume that he would sell everything in Chapter 8 since you can't go to Starlight Temple to purchase things anymore. Uh, but yeah. There he is. Wow, that's amazing. There's a moon in this photo. Now I can see the moon anytime, any place. Come with you? Of course I will. I have nowhere else to go. Awesome. So now... Let's go ahead and go to the stop. And see what he sells for now. I don't know whether or not he's in the back. I guess we'll find out. Uh, the back is the other way. Okay, so left is up is the back. So Kondo will be in the last car this way. There's Dr. Dell, there's Pal. I don't need Pal. I don't want to rush through these dungeons. Um, oh, nope, I got it exactly backwards. Maybe the back is always the bottom? I thought that it changed directions. Oh, well. So Pow and Dr. Dell sit in the front. Dr. Dell can make me more mighty heals, but I don't need more. I just bought a bunch of them. Uh, Julia, what do you do again, Julia? Uh, bewitches or charms enemies and sells me armbands. Do you have anything good right now? No, just the same thing I have two of. There's Rufio. What are your bonus damage to undead? Okay. And then right now you have the main four. And then elements. Okay. So yeah, I'll, I'll have to keep purchasing from... Uh... uh Starlight Temple until later. Okay, and Conda. I know that I'm going to need a bunch of stuff from you in a minute, Conda, but not just the second. How many gold bars do I have? Eleven. Okay, cool. I've got enough then to buy what I need once uh, Emperor Griffin... No, not that side then. This side. Okay. Um, are we here? We are here at the Moonflower Palace. Alright, let's just move into the dungeon. I don't want to walk through the whole Girama. Uh, Moonflower Palace, yes. Awesome. Okay, so... Oh, wait, we should save after doing all of that. <laughs> that would be terrible. Um, let's just warp in there and die and lose all of that progress I just made. Yeah. That, that would not be a smart thing to do. Come on, Road. Use your head. Alright, where is the save? Right here in front of me. Awesome. Let's save. 
There we go. Now we'll start here when we die. If we die. Alright, so I just need to get a uh, moon column and take a picture of that, and then we can get the upgraded uh, uh, Nova Cannon for our ride pod. We've been streaming for two hours now. Die, 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 die. Woohoo! Some good ABP. These have to be a picture, right? I hear something. Ah, there he is. Not a picture. Hmm. Okay. Do I have any more keys? I do not. Let's hope it doesn't just explode in my face. It was an exploding trap. All right, fun stuff. That was half my health. Good thing I bought cheese. Hey there, buddy. Uh, die, please. Quickly, quickly. <laughs> that did 88 damage. Oh, gosh. PS4 screen stutters a bit. Okay. Um, we might have to end in about half an hour then. It'll probably start getting worse. So, yeah, I'll, I'll say after this dungeon, we've started Chapter 7. It'll be a good place to end, because we're not going to see uh, cutscenes for a while after this. Okay. Yeah, if you keep an eye on it, that'd be good too. But... Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. The poison here is bad. Poison here kills me, like, immediately. Jeez, why is the difficulty spike so crazy between Chapter 5 into Chapter 6 and then into Chapter 7? Like, my goodness. Boom. All right. Awesome. Emma, you're right in the way of chat. Are you going to move, or are you just going to sit there? Thank you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you get to live just a bit longer. A few more streams. Maybe only a couple more streams. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even look at how long this uh, dungeon is. I think we've been doing about 10 floors a stream, maybe a bit more. Uh, let's try forcing it. Weapon destroying trap, okay. If it's a weapon, I'm, ooh, okay. Uh, this guy's bad news. I need an anti-poison amulet if I have one. Antidote amulet, okay throw him up there and then we hope for the best I guess oh uh, let's do a holy stone instead of this stop amulet that was amazing okay
Jeez. The amount of damage these guys do. I I've got to be missing... Uh, I've got to be missing some uh, defense boosts somewhere. That's got to be what it is. Oh, these are the... I've been missing out on these. <clears throat> Just got to break all your vases, Cyrus. I thought I wasn't going to be fast enough. I thought it was just going to kill me. All right. <laughs> oh, it's another Bundy. These guys, my goodness. Haha. <laughs> Oh, I think I missed one. Yep. Are you a thing? Nope. It's very reminiscent of the start of Dark Cloud where that urn is uh, there with the stuff pouring out of it. can't put flowers in broken vases. Well, you didn't keep up the garden anyway, buddy. All right, come on. Hit me again. There we go. Definitely need more holy damage on this thing and on my gun. Let's try forcing it again. All these locked chests, man. Sun armlet. Ooh. That one is one of the other things that this could build into. There was the sun armlet, the Athena armlet, and uh, something else. I forget. Oops, not equip status 101 with 100 110 125 hmm this is actually the better one so i'll have it equipped and then i will um swap it if i'm gonna level that up and get the athena armlet still that's the only way to get the athena armlet but with as common as pocket cools are moon clock hand Oh, that's how to get into that other room. Uh, with as common as the Poclicools seem to be, I should be fine if I want to just drop the old armlet into the new. Ooh! Oh, gosh! The fact that they hit me for 80-whatever is just insane. Like, that's almost a one-hit kill, and I've been leveling max up. Well, you know, I've been finding the defense ups and stuff. <laughs> Who's been putting bread in my faces? <laughs> I don't know, man. I was finding ride pod fuel and stuff earlier, too. I wouldn't be surprised if someone's... Stuffing ride pod fuel in your vases as well. So another vase over there, and then a couple enemies. There's Bundy and that balloon guy. We gotta get Bundy with this vase so I don't get. Oh! Come on! Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, let's do things this way. Because I don't want to die. I'm gonna get you guys! Ah. 
See, my thing is, like, yeah, there, it's really weird that that guy's been putting bread in your vases, right? It's even weirder that the guy running through your palace picks up this bread and decides, yeah, I'm gonna eat that. That's gonna be good for my health. Alright, 13,000 experience for Steve. We need to go and talk to Cedric soon. Because I should be able to get some better armor and a better core. Who knows what he's selling at this point. I guess that's what I get for hiring mice with forks. Yeah? And actually, let me item. Um, oh, I can't equip it right now, so I can't. I can't get three forks. Never mind. I'll have to get three forks later and uh, try that out. These guys are. Oh, more light element. It's a lot of light element out here. These guys are tough. Indeed, Steve. Indeed. You're all beat Just... up. Hurry up and get fixed. Not quite fifteen thousand, but we do have the Queen's watering pot now. Yep, there's ride pod fuel. Someone's been dumping ride pod fuel in your uh, in your vases. Yeah, that's not a picture. Okay. Uh, clock hand. Where is the clock hand? Moonflower Palace. Okay, what's in here? What's going on here? I'm exhausted. Are you now? You're kidding. All right, so there's the uh, geostone. Let's go ahead and pick that guy up. Ride pods didn't exist 10,000 years ago. You are correct. I don't know how there's ride pod fuel in a nice ride pod fuel container. 10,000 years in the past. Maybe Max went back 10,001 years in the past to give himself ride pod fuel. And that was what Dark Cloud 3 was supposed to be. You're all beat up. Hurry up and get fixed. I'm gonna get you guys. Yeah, the conversation between Max and uh, and Osmond went a little something like, oh yeah, we could totally go just a bit further in the past. Just attach a 9-volt battery to the engine block. It'll be just enough to push it over the edge. We'll go 10,000 plus one. I can play Sfida here? No way. Sfida didn't exist 10,000 years in the past. But the time distortions are from you time traveling. So when you came 10,000 years in the past, but this temple, this palace isn't 10,000 years in the past right now. It was brought into the present. That doesn't explain how the ride pod fuel got here. You are correct. Man, YouTube 101, Twitch 101, just have conversations with yourself. Talking to yourself isn't weird if you're doing it in front of a camera, right? <laughs> All right, we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. And that's man. If I knew my angles, I'd just pop it one good. All right, so I want to get right up to the wall, but not super crazy.
blub, blub. And then we want to go into this corner, which is about that far. It's a little farther than that. Ooh, that was actually spot on. I got lucky with that one. All right, and then this is 163, so I'm just gonna crank it and give it some good top spin. Not accurate, but hopefully that does it. Oh, I didn't make it through the door. Oh, well, I got four shots. My goodness, whatever am I gonna do with all this shot? Ooh, that was not accurate. Well, that's what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna screw it all up. My goodness. All right, let's make it in here. There we go. And I got two hits to make it into this thing, all right? Uh, let's see, if you went back early enough, you could probably stop us up, right? Like, my goodness. Uh, again, with this time travel stuff, like, yeah, I don't know. It, it makes a little more sense if it's, uh, either going with Max's theory that they actually present in the game and, you know, all this stuff had to happen so that the true timeline could happen. Or, you know, these things are like two different dimensions or three different dimensions that you can travel between quote-unquote past dimension, quote-unquote present dimension, and the quote-unquote future dimension, but they're moving on their own on their own uh, timelines and stuff missed the timing on it hopefully it's good enough yes all right we got Svita on the first floor of the uh, moonflower palace that's good that's good what do we get for that one level up powder very good very good level up powders are good i like level up powders you are not an interesting enough door for this to matter does the exit door count nope at least not yet let's see if adding a vase to it works I'll water this plant. Now, do you count? How about now? Now, that would have been a real fun flower to show Claire. If it actually counted as a picture of a flower. But I think I needed Claire before this point. Anyway, um, that's two and a half hours on the stream. Um... Let's see how much of this is left. Woo! So three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. That's actually not as bad as I thought it was. I thought we were looking at like forty floors for this dungeon. But yeah, um, let's go ahead and drop the Georama, or the Geostone into the Carpenterion, and we'll see if we get the Moon Column. Hopefully, we get the Moon Column. Is that a defense boost? Is that a Fruit of Eden? Fruit of Eden. HP boost is good too, though. HP is almost as good as a defense boost. All right. So we're hoping for a moon column here so that we can get the Nova Cannon 3, I think. Maybe it's Nova Cannon 4. Uh, conditions downloaded but unable to decipher the code. Locked by mysterious power. Okay. Picture. Oh. <laughs> Oh, this is so much better. Okay, I'm gonna sound really stupid here, but I'm gonna tell you guys anyways. Back when I played the 
my first playthrough and any subsequent p playthroughs on PS2, I had no idea that you could look at the pictures in the Carpenterian like this. I thought you had to go to the lobby every time. And so I'd walk around and I actually took pictures with Max's camera and looked at those photos of these paintings to try and figure out how to make this garden. Oh my gosh. Hey, I can make the fountain though. Uh, can I get a better angle on where things are? Okay, so this is relaxation fountain. So I don't have the moon column, but I do have relaxation fountain, and I know that that was used in uh, one of the laser arms, I think it was. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh... Let me go ahead and save. And then laser arm. Yeah, so laser arm three I can actually make. It's energy pipe, relaxation fountain, and searchlight. Station fountain, searchlight. Did I not take a picture of the searchlights? I didn't take a picture of the searchlights. Let's go there. Um. Um. After I make this laser arm, is when we'll end the stream. I I, I want to do something to just kind of wind down the stream. Um, I think the searchlights are in here. I think that purple thing is a searchlight. I might be mistaken. Yep, there we go. Alright, make new invention. Um, so yeah, I... Uh, I do want to probably have like a Sunday Thursday um, kind of a routine, maybe a Sunday Wednesday. Um, what was the third item? Energy pipe. Um, as far as like a, a schedule for streaming. Um, ooh. That's a lot different Say than I cheese. thought. I know the one I have now is the Nova Cannon, but I don't think I ever made the laser arm. Um, I think that I want to do a uh, eventually I want to do a three or four times a week stream, but um, for now... It's probably just going to be a two times a week stream. And uh, it's probably going to be either Sunday, Wednesday or Sunday, Thursday, depending on when I actually have uh, the ability to do so. Because with the newborn, she's uh, not on a schedule yet, so it's hard to stay on a schedule uh, as a parent. Um, what am I doing? I need to... Yeah, Tiny Human runs the show right now. So, um, like today, I was hoping to start streaming between, like, noon and two. And I didn't end up streaming until, you know, two and a half hours ago. Uh, like, 2.30. Um, so it's just kind of the way things have been going. Uh, let's see, this is the back. I need to talk to Conda and get nine silver balls. Um... But yeah, 
uh, hopefully we'll uh, get into a rhythm. She'll get a little older and uh, um, a little easier to manage. We'll get used to it a little better. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. There's 1800. Now we can just make this guy. Yeah. All right, let's see how much stronger that is than what we have. Uh, status 430 attack versus 240 attack. So this is going to be much better than our Nova Cannon already. That's good stuff. Great on flying enemies, it says. It's homing lasers. Oh, so this is going to be the same kind of issue we had with the missiles. It might run into uh, the walls of the uh, the walls of the dungeon. I want to be careful of that. Um, all right, let's go talk to Cedric. I think we moved him into uh, Primerata. <laughs> all right um your identity is revealed <laughs> um thanks for joining the stream sun cyrus um we'll uh we'll see you next time uh, if you're able to come next time um but yeah thanks for coming out uh i'm just going to uh uh, what am I going to do? No, I don't need to do anything else. I'll, I'll save it for next time. We'll end the stream here. Um, see ya, see ya. Uh, thank you. Thank you again. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll continue from here next time. Uh, we'll do some fishing contest stuff because that's the next thing that's coming up and all, all sorts of good stuff. Um... But yeah, thank you for gaming with Road, and uh, we'll see you next time.